Now that we're calling the getText function to translate these strings, we need to provide getText with some files that contain the translations. First, let's create a folder in the root to store them. This folder can be called anything you like, but I recommend something simple, in lowercase, like locales. Inside this folder, getText requires a very specific folder structure that we need to adhere to. Each locale needs its own folder, named with the locale code. So let's create a subfolder, and as we're going to create translations for the Spanish version of our site, we'll call it ES. GetText uses the same locale code naming format as PHP. So if you wanted to create translations for a locale that included a region code, you'd name the folder with a lowercase language code, an underscore, and an uppercase region code. You can have as many folders in here as you need for each locale you're translating to. Then inside the individual locale folder, we need to create another folder and call it LC Messages in uppercase. The name of this folder has to be exactly this or getText won't work. Note that we don't need a folder for the original language, in this case British English. The strings for this version of the site are already in our code and serve as the default. The LC Messages folder is where we create the translation files. GetText uses the PO file format. These are just text files with a specific structure. So we could create this manually. But one of the strengths of GetText is the tools available that make this process much easier. 